Hey, what's good everybody? It's your boy Akeen and welcome to today's vlog. I know the scene is a little different because I'm back home in Massachusetts with my family celebrating the Christmas. Let me introduce you to everybody. This is my grandmother Nene. Say hi Nene, come on now. Hi. Hey. <laughs> She's cooking up a storm. Look at the collard greens they hooked in. Oh, ah! That's all mine, don't hate. And this is my mom and look at her. Look how hey. beautiful she is. <laughs> Miss Celeste McCall, look at her. And she's hooking up the collard greens as you can see. Plus, you gotta check out the pie. They hooking up with the pie. Ah, look at that, look at that. A little bit of apple pie. We're a little country, you know. A little country. But there's three games that you have to look at in this game. Oh, my fault. I forgot to introduce you to my brother. I can't believe I just my brother. This is my, my brother, Latif. My main man, my best man, 100 grand. Up, look at him. Man? Look at him, man. What's up, what's up, what's yeah. Up, up? He's next to me and the best looking guys in the world, you know? <laughs> I'm number one. But uh, as I was saying, we got three games to look at in this, this week. This, these next three games for the bowl. The Little Caesars Bowl is between Toledo and Florida International. Florida International, this is their first bowl game, so there's a little excitement for that school. But they're playing a tough Toledo team, led by Eric Page. He's an All-American kick returner. Look for him to have a good game. I definitely have to go with Toledo. The next game to watch is the Hawaii Bowl, between Hawaii and Tulsa. There is two pro prospects that you have to watch. Darius Johnson and Greg Salas, the receivers for Hawaii and Tulsa. Look for them to have a good key matchup between the two teams. But I'm going to have to pick Hawaii because they have a better passing attack. The last game to watch this week is the Independence Bowl between Air Force and Georgia Tech. Georgia Tech 6-6 six and, six, and Josh Nesbitt has been out for, the, for a couple of games due to an injury. And they have to go count on their backup to win. So I'm going to have to go with Air Force. Both teams have great rushing attacks in the top 10 in rushing. But Air Force just has a better crisp offense than Georgia Tech. Who I had, Georgia Tech, I actually had them going to the ACC Championship this year. But they ended up slouching. One key player to watch is Georgia Tech's running back, Anthony Allen. He is in my, in my top 10 running backs this year coming into the NFL draft. I have him in the fourth, fifth round selections of this year, but we will see. He still has a senior bowl and this game to watch. I'll catch you on my next couple of videos. I'm about to help out with some food and uh, help my family out cook for tomorrow's Christmas. Take care and be easy.